What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as a D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business, and we're gonna look at the Get File Thumbnail action. So this action allows you to get a thumbnail from that image. So this is commonly used in sort of file storage, so sort of SharePoint or OneDrive for Business, where you just want to get the thumbnail of the thing that you are looking at to then do something with it. So let's take a look at that today. So I'm in uh, my Power Automate OneDrive for Business flow here. I've got a trigger for when a file is created, but we're actually not going to use this trigger. We're just going to run from a previously run step um, just for ease. I'm going to click on new step and I'll search OneDrive for Business and find the OneDrive for Business character. I can then scroll down until I get to get, uh, get file thumbnail. Now it's asking me for two parameters. It's asking me for the file itself and it's asking me for the thumbnail size. So I'm just, this is not asking me to do it via path. So I'm actually just going to use the um, use the picker for this, but you can also just put in the, the friendly uh, path name into here and that'll work as well. So if I scroll down to my Power Automate folder, and then I'm going to select this Badger picture. So this is actually a JPEG, so I'm assuming that the picture is going to, or I know the picture is going to come out, and it's going to look a little bit more like uh, what I'm expecting. Um, next, we get to choose thumbnail size, so I get to choose small, medium, or large. Let's go large. And that's all I need. So this is just going to go off, it's going to get our thumbnail, it's going to bring it back. But then we need to do something with it so we can see what this thumbnail looks like. So I'm just trying to add a new step. Uh, and I'll type Outlook. I'm going to use the uh, Office 365 uh, Outlook connector. And I'm going to send an email. So I'm going to send it to Matt Collins in my old name. Uh, in the subject, I'm going to say Power Automate Thumb Thumbnail uh, Test. test. Uh, and then in the body, I'm actually going to put the image. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the code editor in or the code view in this action. This is going to give me a HTML page that I can I can insert HTML content in because the actual content that I'm going to get back from the thumbnail is the URL. So in this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open some brackets and I'll type img src equals and then I'm going to use the dynamic content from get the file thumbnail in here. If you're not familiar, these are this is the tag for when you want to insert a, a thumbnail, if you want to insert an image into a web page, because Outlook supports HTML coding and the HTML language, I can, um, let's double, double negative there, there's language language, but um, I can embed this into here and I can see what that looks like. So that's all I need. So let's test this. So I'm just trying to test this out I'm just going to run it from all my previous runs um, because I don't want to create a file on OneDrive business. We'll hit save and test. Uh, it'll run. Flow is running. Uh, there's a bong there, which I'm not sure you could hear. But if we look at the get file um, inputs, we actually see some stuff here. So this is the input that we're putting in, and we want a large thumbnail. And we actually get the URL out. We get the width and we get the height and then we are sending an email and we can see that it's sending an email here. If I switch over to my Outlook, I can have a look at this and hey look, there's a badger. Doesn't everyone love a good badger? Um, so we have our badger picture here. Uh, it's a nice looking badger there. Um, and this is the thumbnail that it's generated. So it's just as easy as that. There is one thing to note about this connector and that is that it only the thumbnail will only last six hours. So please be aware when you're using this that these images aren't, aren't going to always be accessible. It's only going to last six hours. Um, the last thing to actually show before uh, we stop here is um, I'm going to show you what other things look like. So um, for instance, if I go back to my root and if I go back to my folder here, if I look at... Uh, do, 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 if I look at, uh, where is my document? Uh, I can't find it. There it is, this one. If I look at this document, if I go into my OneDrive business and I look at this document, this is what it looks like. It's not very, uh, it's not very big. 
Um, I can make this text a bit bigger and maybe make the top bit highlighted or something like that and save that. Um, but essentially, if I'm doing a thumbnail of this image, it, you know, this is a, the whole document. Uh, it's going to be a little bit um, small. So if I draw out of here and I just show you what this looks like, this is me researching the thumbnail parameter, thumbnail action. Um, if I do in here and I show you what this looks like, so we'll hit test again and we'll just run this again. Uh, and we'll click on email, badger. Um, so this is the large thumbnail, but as you get smaller, these things get smaller. So if I go back, I'll show you this again. If I make this maybe medium, for instance, and test this again. Um, we're going to see as gradually get smaller and to the point where it's, it's not really usable. Um, so just be aware that thumbnail is thumbnail. It's the small image. It's the thing that you would kind of see next to something. Um, but if you do scale that out to be the large one, um, you can actually have some really cool images come through uh, your thumbnails and, and through onto emails and stuff like that. So remember, only last six hours. Um, that's the only key important thing to remember. And just think about the size of your thumbnails and stuff like that. Um, you could probably also, um, I mean, in the in the HTML code that I put in here, you can actually specify heights and widths and stuff like that. So you might be able to uh, do some additional like formatting with that as well. Uh, and then we just want the thumbnail size to be large, and then we can just shrink it down as we want it. But there we go. That is the get file thumbnail action. I hope that was useful to you and you learned something from this. Uh, I think it's really awesome. Um, I've not used this one before, but it's definitely something I'm going to use in the future. Um, if you did like this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.